What is shutter or shutter speed? Shutter, literally speaking, is a door that allows the image to be recorded either on film or digital sensor. The speed of the shutter determines the amount of light entering the camera. Higher the speed, lesser is the light entering into the lens. Slower shutter speeds allow blurring the motion, while higher shutter speeds freeze the action. In slower shutter speeds, it is always advisable to use a tripod or a monopod to avoid shaking of the camera. Let us get to know the in-depth knowledge related to the working of a shutter speed and its impact on the photographs that we take. Right. Now, what is the most important thing in taking a photograph? I have a lot of answers. I, get, I see one person saying it is a camera, it's a person, it's a subject. But I say the most important thing in taking a photograph is light. Without light, there can't be any photography. It can be daylight, it can be a candlelight, it can be light by a torch, it can be tungsten light, whatever. But without light, there can't be any photography. That's why the term photography means writing with light. What is this shutter speed? Any idea of what the shutter speed is? Shutter speed is nothing but the duration of time that the shutter remains open. Right? It's a duration of time that the shutter remains open. Shutter speed is something like a window in a dark room. Open the window, light comes in. Close the window, light goes out. This is more or less what I could crudely tell what shutter speed is all about. It starts with, let's say, one second, half a second, one fourth, one eighth, one by fifteenth, one by thirty, one by sixty, one by one twenty-five, one by two fifty, one by five hundred, and one by thousand. Modern cameras have shutter speeds from 30 seconds onwards to 1 by 8,000, but let's stick to this from 1 second down to 1 by 1,000. By 1 second is the slowest shutter speed, and 1 by 1,000 is the fastest shutter speed. 1 second is 1 full second. The rest are all fractions of a second. 1 by 125 is 1 by 125th of a second. Another thing about the shutter speed is every shutter speed allows half the preceding shutter speed, half the amount of light as the preceding shutter speed and twice as the succeeding shutter speed. 1 by 125 will allow half the amount of light as 1 by 60 and twice the amount of light as 1 by 250. Any shutter speed you take, let us say you take 1 by 4. 1 by 4 will allow half the amount of light as 1 by 2 and twice the amount of light as 1 by 8. So, half and double, half and double, half and double, always half and double. Today, we are going to study how the shutter works in a camera. I would request a couple of students to come over here and have a closer look at how the shutter works. Now, this is a camera. Now, these are the shutter speeds. It has got B down 1 second down to 1 by 4000 of a second. Right? Yeah. Now, I am going to open the lens. This is a film camera. This is to show you how the shutter works. This is the shutter of the camera. Okay. Right now, I'm going to now. This is what is happening inside your digital camera also, but you don't get to see it. I kept the shutter speed at B. B is a bulb exposure, where as long as you keep your finger on the shutter release button, the shutter keeps opening. Uh, beyond one second or beyond one second, if you want those exposures for five seconds, ten seconds, or half an hour, or one hour for shooting the stars or anything, you keep the camera shutter speed as B. B is as long as you keep your finger on the shutter release button, shutter keeps opening and you take it off, it closes. Now, we go on to one second. One second, the camera opens for a second and closes on its own. We move on to the next faster speed, half a second. This is a half a second exposure. You, you could find it getting faster. One fourth is this. One eighth. One by fifteenth. 1 by 30th, 1 by 60, 1 by 125, 1 by 250, 1 by 500, 1 by 1000, 1 by 4000. Is this. Although you do not see anything, film or sensor is getting exposed even at this fast shutter speed. 
of a second. Okay. So this is how the shutter works. This is how it works in your digital camera also. Now I have a fidget spinner to demonstrate what happens at various shutter speeds when it is spinning. Now I'm going to spin it and shoot it at all the shutter speed right from one second down to one by thousand and we will check at what shutter speed the movement is getting arrested. So the first photograph is at one second. Now you don't get to see anything at all. You just see a white blur in between. But remember this is not out of focus. It is absolutely sharp. The only thing the shutter speed of one second is not enough to arrest the movement of the spinner. So I move on to the next higher shutter speed which is half a second. Right. Now at half a second it doesn't make much of a difference between one second and half a second there is not much of a difference it's the same. Uh, I don't see I don't see anything at all. The, it is just not arrested the movement of the spinner is just not arrested. So I move on to the next faster shutter speed which is 1 by 4. At 1 by 4 the black the black the arms of the fidget spinner is sort of visible at the bottom if you see you see a black the black is uh, a, a, a little more visible than what it was in the previous slide. So but again it is just not enough one fourth of a second is not enough to arrest the movement. So I move on to a next faster shutter speed which is 1 by 8 it's almost the same as 1 by 4 it's still it's still blurred it's still the movement is not arrested but it is in focus remember that focus and move, arresting movement are two different things it is in focus but the movement is just not arrested so i move on to the next shutter speed which is 1 by 15 at 1 by 15 i see the black a little more but again it's just not enough to arrest the movement so i will have to move test it out at a faster shutter speed than 1 by 15 which is 1 by 30th. At 1 by 30th, yes. Now you can definitely see at the bottom you can see one arm of the spinner but the other two arms are completely blurred but one arm you can definitely make out at 1 by 30. Now let us see what happens if I am moving one step ahead I am moving on to a faster shutter speed than 1 by 30 by one stop which is 1 by 60th. At 1 by 60th, yes. I can see the three arms but the movement is not arrested. The movement is not arrested but I am able to see the three distinctly the three arms of the fidget spinner. You have seen, the, you have seen it when it was stationary. Now we just get that image in your mind. Now you can see the three arms the three black spots I, I would not call it spots the three black areas those are the three arms. So at 1 by 60th it is definitely much better than the previous shutter speed in terms of arresting the movement. Now again this is not arrested the movement completely so I would move on to 1 by 125 yes certainly much 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 better than 1 by 68. I see a lot more detail in it than the previous uh, photograph but again the movement is not arrested it is still moving you can still see the movement you can still although it is sharp you can still see the movement. So I move on to a next faster shutter speed which is 1 by 250th. At 1 by 250th, yes, to a, to a large extent the movement has been arrested. To a very large extent the movement has been arrested but just uh, not exactly what I want. I want it absolutely on the dot steady without any movement. So I move on to a faster shutter speed which is 1 by 500th of a second. At 1 by 500th of a second, if you notice very closely then you will see the slight blur otherwise at a, at, a, at a quick glance you would find you will think that it has been arrested but if you notice it very closely there is a slight blur very slight blur. So I move on to the fastest shutter speed which I have in my camera which is 1 by 1000 at 1 by 1000 it is absolutely steady rock steady as I would say it is rock steady the movement has been completely arrested. So now you have seen what happens to a moving the thing right from 1 second downwards to 1 by 1000 where in this particular case it required a shutter speed of 1 by 1000 to arrest it. It may not be the same everywhere in, in some cases you may even be able to arrest movement at 1 by 60th or 1 by 125th depending upon the speed of the movement or the direction of the movement.
I hope that the role and use of the shutter speed is clear to you as this will be very important when you begin to take photographs. In the next video, you will see more examples of the various shutter speeds and you will learn how to arrest movement.